Hello, this is Vicki Simons with TruckDriversMoneySavingTips.com. Do you know why eating while driving a truck can be costly? Let's first look at some news articles of crashes that truckers have been involved in while eating. This big rig driver choked on food, lost consciousness, and the crash killed one person and injured three others, including the truck driver. This big rig driver choked on lunch, passed out, veered across a freeway, and slammed head on into a sedan. The car's driver and passenger were both killed. This big rig driver choked on pork rinds, that is a snack, lost control of the truck, veered across a median, and the truck jackknifed and came to a stop in a muddy ditch. This trucker was hauling lumber on a flatbed, was eating chili while driving, hit a bump, choked, and lost consciousness, and plowed into a house. This trucker choked on a mint, veered from the lane. The truck fell off the interstate and 20 feet off a cliff. The truck was totaled and by the way, the trucker wasn't wearing a seat belt either. This trucker was eating chicken while driving, choked and passed out and the truck which was loaded with produce crashed on Interstate 5. And this lorry driver is pictured holding a bowl with his right hand, holding a spoon with his left hand and looking at the bowl, all while driving a lorry on the M25 motorway. Not only is this trucker not watching where he is going while driving, he doesn't even have one hand on the wheel and this obviously did not happen in the USA. So let's cover reasons why eating while driving a truck can be costly. You're not totally focused on driving. You can wander from the lane of travel, sideswiping another vehicle or even worse. You're not focusing on what's ahead, which can lead to rear-end collisions. If a tire blows, you can have a lack of control. You have a lack of control when maneuvering in urban, congested, or tight areas. Any accident you're involved in will be recorded on your motor vehicle record. You'll have to let your company know that you are involved in an accident, and any applications that you may submit to other truck driving companies will have to also include this information. You could have a possible loss of your job and your trucking career. You will not be able to erase life-altering or fatal accidents from your conscience. You may be imprisoned for vehicular homicide. Mindless eating leads to consumption of more calories and cutting corners in one area can lead to cutting corners in others. Our conclusion? Eating while driving a truck professionally is a form of distracted driving. You're being paid to drive or safely operate a truck, not eat. It's not worth the risks of being involved in an accident and possibly a fatality. And you should eat only when you're parked safely and legally. You can get and share great money-saving tips for truck drivers at truckdriversmoneysavingtips.com. If you like this video, please share it and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We welcome your comments, feedback, and money-saving tips for fellow truck drivers. If you're a professional truck driver, my husband Mike and I wish you safe travels and lots of money-saving opportunities on the road.